Hi guys, we're back at the cafe, sir. A um, couple of things I wanted to check. I wanted to check the foul clearances that I did yesterday. Um, I did my clearances from an online source saying that they were, God, 0 0.03 or something. Uh, either way, I, I used the wrong gauge by quite far. So you want this quite flimsy one. I used quite a fat one. 0.08 on the bottom is what I want, or 0.03. That's the medium for my valves. So not too low and not too high. I'm going to do the medium so I have a bit of play either way. So uh, so I actually made a mistake on the valves there. Now, second thing is both of these bolts here holding on the um, wheel, the wheel, my God, the sprocket, uh, were both loose. They both loosened, and that made me a bit nervous. So no matter what I do with this bike now I'm going to do the valves properly no matter what I do though I'm going to keep an eye on that in a couple of days I put a little bit of Loctite silicone on it that stuff which isn't the right stuff I'm absolutely going to be popping them out as soon as I get some Loctite and putting that and putting them back in uh, the other thing I noticed was that this bearing here or bush has actually snapped so it's currently still doing its job, it's letting the engine rotate, but somehow it snapped. Um, when, so I took this off, to obviously to get to them bolts, and it kind of fell out. So I'm gonna order a new bushing, uh, which I found already, I just need to order it and get it on, and lock tight for them there. And obviously in the meantime, I'm gonna set the valves. Now, how you set the valves is, Spin the engine until you get to top dead centre. Uh, that will be the T mark in there like I showed you last time. Now depending on what way this line is facing, it will be facing the back of the engine that way, or it will be facing the front, is what side you're working on. So I need to go back to the book to actually tell you. Let me, give me a second. So the book says blah 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 where are we where are we we're lost yes here so rotate the crankshaft clockwise with a socket on the bolt yep to the t-mark yep blah 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 to determine which piston is in its compression sto stroke look at the notch at the in the left of the camshaft that's the notch i just showed you that's that one blah 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 the left piston is on its compression stroke if it's full if it's forward so if it's facing the front if it's facing the front it's the left right now it's facing the back so it's the right but i haven't actually put it on top dead so i'm going to put it on the next top dead down there and whatever way that's facing we'll be working on them valves So that's on the T-mark down there. That's facing forward. Let me just double check in the book again. So if it's facing forward, blah, 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 blah. If it's facing, if it's towards the rear of the engine, it's the left piston. So if it's forward, the front of the engine, it's the right piston. So we're gonna be adjusting the other side first over there. We're gonna be getting our 0.08 put a bit of oil on it, use the oil in the engine, you might as well and then you'll slide it under the piston so you go around to the other side because that's what we're working on now I know these aren't right because I set them terribly uh, the other day although saying that
yeah, that needs a bit of tightening, that one. Sorry about the camera, guys. And the same in here, yeah. So they both need a bit of tightening. Uh, size nines on here, break them loose, tighten the top bit with this underneath. It should have some drag, but not loads. And then you should be spot on. Rotate the engine, see there's no drag on that side. Sorry about the wire there, there's no, you know, there's no drag at all. So that needs to go significantly lower. Tighten them up, check them again, do a full rotation of the engine and we'll do the other side. So guys, we're still where we are, 0.08 on the bottom there. Um, we've done the adjustments on here. Some drag, you can feel it dragging. Now I've gone in the middle, so it should be spot on. It's probably a touch loose, but there is some drag there. On this side, exactly the same. This side's more spot on, actually. There's a, a bit more drag. Um, but they're both within tolerances, I would guess. I don't know, I might nip this up a tiny bit. I'm going to nip this a tiny bit more, guys, this one, so that it's done properly. And then we're going to spin one full turn of the engine clockwise check that the notch on the other side is facing whatever way it should and then we'll be working on the other side so guys same again on this side the notch is now facing back it's on top dead center down here so we're working on these ones um, they will be too loose because of the i used the wrong thing yesterday look at that way way too loose and uh, that one will be as well so again, I'm nipping up to this 0 0.08 um, and they should be spot on and ready to go. I'm then going to run this engine. I'll do that tomorrow, guys. I'm not going to do that today. Tomorrow I'll run this engine and I'll do the new compression test. I think it will be quiet as anything. It's up jetted. Nope, it's jetted appropriately for the cone. Um, I am going to order this new bushing because I just don't want anything going wrong at this stage. And I am going to put some Loctite on the nut there, maybe even on the top nuts because this top end rebuild is done. Um, the only slight chance now is with these set correctly is we might get more smoke um, because it may have all gone back to perfectly timed and letting through a bit more oil. That is a possibility. If that was the case, guys, this needs new um, valves probably needs this new block because you can't easily I'd have to send this off to get the valve guides done um, and you can actually just buy this block you can also buy this block with the valves and everything on and ready to go um, I think that excludes the cam lobes I'm not sure but I'm gonna look into all of that if needed so that's it guys they're set they're set nicely there's a fair amount of drag And that one's a bit loose, but nothing major. And there's a fair amount of drag on that. And remember, I've gone for the middle tolerances, so it, it should be within anyway, because I've given myself like 0 0.1 either way, haven't I? Um, tomorrow, I think this engine should be much quieter. Some valve noise is normal. Uh, it means the pistons... It means the valves are working to their full potential, but not as much as we saw, and obviously it was all done wrong. I'm going to keep an eye on this um, for now, and I think we're going to have a great engine, and tomorrow I'll do a compression test for you guys. I'm not expecting it to show major numbers. John said the engine should be 157, I, it, it, and it does say that in the book. I don't think it is. I don't think my gauge is spot on it's a cheap gauge it was 90 originally guys 90 psi on the first compression test on both cylinders on the second one after i changed the piston but not the valve oil stems it was 115 on, on both 115 um, i expect it to be higher than that now but online it says anything over 100 psi on both cylinders as long as they're both near each other in range is fine the engine's still healthy enough to continue so i will do a compression test tomorrow i expect it to be maybe 120 uh, if i'm lucky but the proof is you know is in the pudding really the proof is how it sounds how it rides 
hope it runs and all of that.